Hello there once again. This is Bill King with MedCom Diabetics. Today we will continue in our series for National Diabetes Month. Today being the seventh part of the series of 30 plus and today is number seven, November the 7th. Today we're going to discuss high blood sugar causes and seven surprising daily things that can increase your insulin levels. Now, what causes high blood sugar? Overconsumption of sugar, processed food, carbs, yes, and we know the drill. But there are some surprising factors that can lead to a spike in insulin levels. So let's find out. Hormones can lead your blood sugar to spike in the morning. Gum infections can both increase blood sugar level or be the product of raised insulin levels. Loss of sleep can cause one's blood sugar to rise. And high blood sugar remains one of the most serious health ailments and unfortunately, very, very common. It can directly lead to other diseases like heart or kidney ailments, damaged eyes, and so on. Not just that, any existing illness can aggravate high blood sugar and treatment and surgeries become doubly critical. That's why controlling blood sugar is key. While genes play an important part and one we cannot control, change in lifestyle and healthy practices can help in controlling diabetes. We know that excess amounts of sugar and carbs are directly related to high insulin levels, but there are several everyday non-obvious practices that can lead to a spike in sugar levels. Let's check out several of them as we increase our insulin levels. Artificial sweeteners. They are tooted as a safe alternative to sugar and for diabetes, but several experts and studies show that they can actually be harmful and lead to a rise in blood sugar, which is said by the CDC, which is the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Coffee. This can happen even with black coffee and coffee without sugar. Believe me, there are several, there, I'm, I'm sorry, there are individuals who are extra sensitive to caffeine and their sugar levels can shoot up due to coffee. Lack of sleep. Increasingly, studies are highlighting the importance of sleep. More so as people are sleeping less now thanks to gadget addiction and to stress. But did you know that even if it's for only one night, Sleep loss can cause your body to use less insulin and thus lead to a spike in sugar levels. Did you know that? Skipping breakfast. Studies have shown that if you skip breakfast, blood sugar can increase after both lunch and dinner. Check with your doctor before you plan to skip breakfast for intermittent fasting or other diets. Dawn phenomenon. As the CDC website says, people have a surge in hormones early in the morning whether they have diabetes or not. For people with diabetes, blood sugar can spike. Gum disease. Don't ignore gum diseases as something trivial. While sugar may not always be the reason, but gum diseases can lead to a spike in sugar levels. 
Sometimes it's a reflection of the fact that you have diabetes. Dehydration. If you are dehydrated, it means the sugar in your blood is more concentrated. Uh, in our research, we have been stating over the last few days that there are 34 million plus diabetics in America. Well, I have to say today that that number has increased. In a recent study, in a more recent study, which was concluded in the year 2019, there at that time were 37 million plus people in America who have diabetes. And that number grows to approximately 1 million individuals per year. So this is an indication that diabetes is growing in America. It's growing in our citizens. Let's spread the word. Let's talk about diabetes. Let's think about a cure. Let's think about keeping everyone that we love and that we know safe. Let's go over these videos, spread them, uh, you know, like them, share them, talk about them with everybody. Go to the YouTube channel, which there will be a link to, and subscribe, uh, share the videos, uh, post comments, ask questions in uh, our Facebook page. Uh, let's talk about this. Let's, let's become more aware of what's going on, okay? So with that in mind, we're going to end today. So we will see you once again tomorrow. Thank you again for listening. Again, Bill King with Medcom Diabetics. Have a great evening.